Do you have a property stuck on the market? Well, here are my top tips on how to get you moving. Having a property stuck on the market is very frustrating when it's stopping you from moving home. Unfortunately, many estate agents use the numbers game of taking on as many properties as they can, hoping some of them will sell. If you're not one of the lucky ones who sells quickly, then the agent rarely has a plan B to get you moving. Is your agent blaming the current market for lack of the activity? What is their plan B to refresh the marketing of your property? Reduce the price and nothing else. If you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. So take action and either ditch your current agent or go multi-agency and put it on with another one. Creating competition is always good and by having two agents, they will both work harder to try and sell your property before their competitor. Assess the market. Where does your property sit within the current marketplace? Is it competitively priced? How does it compare with similar properties? What are your photographs like? Are they out of season? How much care did the agent take to make your property look as best as it can? A good agent will use a wide angle lens camera and take lots of photos. They will also ask for your help to stage the property by clearing away cluttered surfaces, getting cars off drives, wheelie bins out of the way and gardens tidied. Does your property have a floor plan? Prospective purchasers love to see floor plans and they are very easy to produce. A good agent will offer a floor plan as part of their service. Who is conducting viewings when you get them? You or the agent? If it's the agent, do they ask you to leave the house when they conduct a viewing? Vendors are the worst possible people to show prospective purchasers over a property. It's an uncomfortable experience for the viewer and they will only tell you what you want to hear for fear of upsetting you. A good agent will always accompany viewings and ask you not to be there. Whilst they cannot make somebody buy a property, they can create the best atmosphere and encourage objections, as there is no such thing as a perfect house which they can then try and overcome. How easy is it to contact your agent? How quickly do they respond to inquiries? Do you have one point of contact who knows your property well? Times have changed with smartphones, easy access to email and Wi-Fi access almost everywhere. A good agent is contactable when his clients need him, including in the evenings and at weekends. How often are the details of your property changed? Most people search for property by scanning a list view in Rightmove or one of the other property portals. Once they have scanned over your property, because it's not appealing to them, they are unlikely to ever click on it again. So a good agent will regularly change the lead photo so it looks different, therefore creating more interest. Does your property have any maintenance problems, putting prospective purchasers off? Does your front door need a lick of paint? Is the garden a mess? Well, get them sorted. You are creating objections and putting prospective purchasers off. Do you have a for sale board? People often move close to family and friends, so boards are important. They also make your property easy to find when someone is coming to view. So if you have a property that is stuck on the market and would like to get moving soon, feel free to contact me for further advice.